Okay, so this is a shred look that I've been actually I developed myself a couple of years ago, and it was from watching a guitar solo from Dime McDowell, and he did this shred lick that was similar to this, but he kind of carried on going up the fretboard and then started doing all this <laughs> chromatic widdly stuff. Um, so I thought I'd just keep it within kind of the minor scale. I'm playing an F sharp, <coughs> the most rock of all keys, and. <laughs> All I'm doing is running up the minor scale, but I will tell you what frets I'm playing and I will teach you how to do it. I'm going to start on second fret on the lowest, on the low string, on the low E string, and I'm going to go two, four, five. And all I'm doing, I'm picking the first note of every string, so I'm going to go two, hammer on, hammer on, and that's using the first, third, and little finger. And then the same again on the A string. And then I'm going to go on the 4th fret, so I'm going to shift up with the 1st finger, and I'm going to go 1st, middle, little, aka 4, 5, 7 on the low E string, and then back down to the A string, 4, 5, 7. Once you've learnt that, all you've got to do is understand where your octaves are, because once you can do that, you can fly up the fretboard. Once I've done that, the shape is exactly the same. So I'm going to go to the next octave. There's my next F sharp. First finger on fourth fret on the D string. And I'm going to repeat the shape. So that's going four, six, seven down a string on the G. Four, six, seven, and then slide up two frets, going six, seven, nine, and then down another string. Six, seven, nine. And then I'm going to find the next octave, which is going to be on the B string. Because the B string is tuned flat to a major third, I have to shimmy up one more fret, so I'm on seventh fret. So I keep the shape the same. I then go seven, nine, ten. Same again on the high E string. Seven, nine, ten. I then go nine, ten, twelve. On the B, and then 9, 10, 12, and to finish off, give it that little, that little je ne sais quoi, you want to press 14 on high E string, which is a high F sharp. consistent triplet rhythm going all the way through and that's pretty much because I'm playing three notes per string and I'm trying to keep gaps to a minimum and every single note value has to be the same otherwise you can go too fast and then you have a gap which sounds a bit strange <laughs> you could probably get away with it if you're playing a gig if you're in some kind of comedy band but in this case, keep it straight. And there you have it. One triplet F sharp minor shred lick.